Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily add what I used to call a stubborn machine. In this demonstration I'm going to show you how we can add an Edge Master 2S Plus into Lightbarn. Without further ado, let's get into it. Lightbarn is, in my opinion, a very well designed software and it makes it adding new machine uh, fairly straightforward. Unfortunately, however, not all the machine are built the same way and in the same way, not all the machine are as easy to be added. Now, uh, if you've been watching other videos in my channel, uh, you should be familiar on how to do that. I've been reviewing uh, different machines, but the principle is very simple. Uh, once you are in Lightbarn, you will simply go into device and then you will click on find my device. You will give it a next and this should scan for the available common port and should find whatever device is hooked up into the uh, computer. But as you can see, my uh, Nege Master 2S Plus is currently hooked up and is not recognized. And so Let's cancel, cancel. Now, the reason for that is, now I'm not going to generalize for all the uh, machines, but um, being specific to the Nege uh, series of machine, Nege is using a proprietary board uh, where there are two microcontrollers on it. Now, one of the microcontrollers is uh, using the proprietary firmware, which works with their uh, proprietary uh, software and mobile application, as you know. Uh, while the second uh, microcontroller is actually working, running the GRBL firmware. And the GRBL firmware is what uh, Lightbarn and Laser GRBL, the two software, are working with. Now, for some reason, um, it seems like the, the board, the microcontroller, doesn't come ready so that you can uh, basically uh, start right away with light barn. And so we are now going to see how to very easily correct that. It's a very simple thing to do. All right, the first thing we want to do is to install the right driver. This is called CH driver. Now, a while back, I wrote a post about the topic just to help out one of my subscribers. And I will actually put the link in the video description below. And so uh, here you will find the link where we can download the actual driver. So this is the driver is called CH340. And this is actually the resource where I found the driver. Uh, uh, this is sparkfun.com. They also have a very short tutorial on how to install it. Uh, this is because it's generalized for uh, this kind of boards, but we will not go through that. So now, uh, you can install the driver in two different ways. One is uh, simply by downloading the executable file and letting the executable file do the job. Or if you have laser GRBL also installed in your machine, uh, this will actually be uh, very easy because you can go over to tools and then install CH30 driver. Now this is actually the simpler way to do that. And so for this reason, I'm going to show you the, the other way, which is not harder, but it takes a few steps more. So I will click on download. I'll save this. I'll save it into my, uh, there we go, over here. And then I will open the file. Yes. And now I will ask this for the installation. This will basically prepare the port for me. I will wait for it. Perfect. The driver install is successful. Now I can give OK and close. Now once I'm done with that, I can go back into Lightburn and I can once again go over to devices and click on find my laser and give it next. Now, once I do that, it 
will take some time. And sure enough, we now found a machine. And as you can see here is a GRBL 255 times 420 millimeters at the port com number eight with this belt rate and so on. We'll just give on HUD, you can name it. So, and here, if you need to, you can actually correct the dimension. If they are not correct, then you can give on next. You can choose to auto on the laser on startup and also you can choose where you want the zero position to be. Normally it's the front left as you can see over here. So let's give on next and finish and then OK. Now here it says it's ready. We can go over to the console. You can see that we have the machine connected. Now I can switch here into the Gemaster 2S Plus device. And now once I do that, it should take automatically the port, but if you see that it says waiting for connection, the simplest thing to do is to go into choose and then back to the port where it was. And this should, as you can see, very easily do the job. Now, once you've done that, um, you can actually test your machine. You can go over to the move and you can see that the machine is already settled. Now, the one thing that I remember when I first installed this machine is that actually things weren't so easy. Um, and what I mean by that is that after I did the installation of the driver, uh, actually I had to deal with wrong dimension. I also had some of the axes inverted. So now because I've removed the uh, machine from uh, Light Barn, I think that somewhere Light Barn retrieved actually the information about the machine and so everything is ready. And so what I did um, for my subscriber, I basically exported the machine settings. And so um, I've done the same. This is available in my website. As you can see over here, you can download uh, over here where it is. Yeah, you can download the device and the machine settings for the, uh, the Gemaster 2S Plus. Now this is specific for this machine, but if you happen to have another machine, you may ask a friend or somebody else with the same machine if they could kindly provide you uh, with the same setting so that you can work that out. Now, once you download the file, uh, you will basically get two files. You can see over here that I am highlighting them. Uh, one is the machine settings, LB set, and one is the device settings, which is LB device. Now we will import that very easily. So we'll go back into device and we can do import. I can go where I've saved the file, settings, and here you can see open. And now you can see over here, I have Ninja Master 2S GRBL. So this is basically a different step than what we did earlier. So this is actually importing the machine as a wall. And then we can give it OK. I can now switch to Ninja Master 2S GRBL. OK. As you can see, the machine connects automatically now. And then we have to go under Edit, uh, Machine Settings. Now over here, these are the settings which are um, into the machine. And what we can do, we can load from a file. As you can see here in the folder, it's recognizing straight away light barn settings, open. And then we can click on right and okay. And so now you should be perfectly good to go. Uh, in fact, we can try that uh, right away. Let me see if we are properly connected. Uh, yeah, so if I go over to the move tab, I can move it. All right. And so now I'm going to jog. I'll take the jog tool and I'm going somewhere. Now, this is the canvas and will correspond uh, to your engraving area. So if I click over here, I should expect the laser to move in that spot. And I think that pretty much it's good. I'll do it again. I will come over here. 
Now, if you find that the machine moves uh, slowly for the free move, that means without engraving, over to the move tab, you can change this speed over here, let's say 5000. And so this is the speed that is going to be used for the G0 or free move. So once again, I will juke around and you can see that the machine now is much faster. And so, as I said, it's uh, actually very simple to do. Um, there is just an extra workaround uh, to do. Uh, now, if, uh, as I said, if you have laser GRBL installed, um, you don't even have to bother about uh, looking for the driver. You will neatly, you will simply come over here, over to tools, and then you will click on install CH340 driver, and that's basically going to do the exact same things without having to download it. All right, and this is pretty much all. Now, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. I know that uh, uh, many people with the um, uh, Nijin machine have been facing the same problem, uh, the same way I did when I first started with this machine. And so, if you like the video, uh, don't forget to click the Famba button below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now!